Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Visio. In this module, I want to have a look at how you can save a template. And I want to have a look at two specific places. The first one is in categories. When you go new categories, I want to have a folder here, which will have all my templates in. And the second one is I want an option there for personal templates to appear. So both cases, you are creating a template. So if I go back to this data graphics example, what I want to do is save this as a template. Now, what you need to do first off is to make sure you've got a templates folder set up. So if you go to file options, the first one is going to be in the save location. And I can see there that there's no default template. Now I know where I want my default templates to go. So I've got that open already. This is where I want them to go. So I'll just copy this link and paste it in to the data graphics example. So that's that one. If I click OK and I save this as a template, file, save as, Browse, Visio Drawing, Visio Template. Now it's gone to this folder. I'll just paste that in there and press Enter. So you can see the subfolders. So I'm just going to, first of all, just save it in, loose in, in here, not in the folder itself. I'll save that. And then... If I close this down, Control W to close the window, File New, I can now see Personal, and in Personal, I've got an It's Easy folder, and I can go into that, and I can see my Data Graphics file. I'll open that, and it comes up as Drawing, so it's a copy of the original. It's not the not the original. So if I close that one down, and open another file. Um, Let's open this diagram. Save that as a template. So file, save as, browse. Now what you probably need to do, because I've still got this in paste, so I can paste that at the top there and save this as a template. There's data graphics, but it's sitting loose. And what you should really do is create a folder. Let's call it Visio. And let's put this one in Visio. And let's see what happens now. Close that one down. File new. Personal. Still got the It's Easy folder. But also now you've got a Visio folder. So you could categorize these. Um, instead of calling it Visio, you can call it finance training or whatever you want you can put different categories of drawings in you could have a flow charts timelines camp charts organizational charts and different templates in each folder so that's basically how you create that one now what i do suggest is on the a save as you might want to pin this folder there there or that one that's a that's a root folder that you've created so then you don't have to remember where it is every time. Now the other option, if I go back into options, is on the advanced tab. So this is to create a category, same sort of thing. If I come down to the very bottom of this list, you've got file locations and an option for templates. So if I paste that in there again, so it's the same location, click OK, click OK, and then Let's just close this down, Control W. File, New. I need to go to Categories. And I'm hoping that there is a folder called Visio, and Open Visio, and then there's the EPC diagram in there. And the same process would apply. You would save into these folders, and then you would have a list of templates under Categories. So File, New not personal categories 
and then you select it from the category option like so if you want to change the category back one if you go back to options and just get rid of that visio folder file locations so you want it to end at it's easy say so it just ends there well, let's knock that off it's easy so it ends at templates so you just come back you just come back one let's see what happens now and i click ok and ok file new category now it shows you it's easy as opposed to visio so you just need to come back one so if i want it to show visio i'd have to have it's easy as the end of the path and then if i have subfolders after that or folders after that that i wanted i'd have to put visio and then the subfolders would appear so it's just um, whichever option you want but just to recap we did two options we did in options itself we went save and we put a path in here for the personal templates and then we went into advanced and we selected location file locations and we put the templates path in there and if you just wanted to see um, Visio, you would just put it's easy there. If you wanted to see it's easy, you just leave it blank. Whatever the last one is, you just knock it off. So that's how to create a template and save a template in Visio. So hopefully that was of use to you and you enjoyed that. So I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for your time.